bury me. Thanks for not dragging your ass, honey. I appreciate the prompt service. Hey, what's happening? Not much, huh? Do I know you? Oh, no, 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 we never met before, but given the opportunity, I, I bet I could brighten up your day or your evening to be exact. Yeah, how's that? Well, I got a story you aren't gonna believe. Look, if you're asking for even a dirty dime, you're wasting your time here. Oh, no, 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 I'm not asking for money. And I'm not drunk, this, this is my first beer. No, I just, I saw you walk in and I was sitting over there by my lonesome and says to myself, self? That looks like a guy that could use some company. Yeah, I don't need no company. Oh, sure you do. I know we all need company. What are you, some kind of weirdo homo? Why would you say that, huh? I mean, do I look like one? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Oh, really? Well, you look like the kind of guy that would love to hear a first class story. And that's just the type of story that I got for you. It's, it's first class. Jesus Christ, is this gonna take long? No, 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 I'll keep it short, I, I promise. So, you ready for this? I'm a spy. Yep, you heard me. Probably not the type that you're thinking of, you know? No double odd stuff, I'm not working for the CIA or the KGB or anything like that. No, 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 no. I work for Mudziplik, actually. Yeah, you probably never heard of him. If you have, you know, just us Martians. Oh. I'm from Mars. <laughs> Bullshit, what have you been smoking? Huh? I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. So you're just a batshit crazy loon then? Hey. I had a feeling that you wouldn't believe me. Yeah, because there ain't no such thing as Martians. They already proved there ain't no life on Mars. I saw it on the TV, so so much for your story. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter what the scientists on TV say or what the space probes think they know. I'm from Mars. We've been monitoring your planet for many, many years. Now with you guys landing up there, I figure things are a little too close for comfort, so. Decide to beat you to it, come down here. I'm a part of what you might call the advanced landing force. You know? A spy, so to speak. See, we're not visible to your satellite cameras. It's, it has something to do with the, the light waves and an ability that we have to kind of blend into the landscape. You know? Chameleon-like, you might say. Sort of like those little lizards you guys have running around out here. We'd just scare you if you saw us anyway. We're, we're pretty strange looking. Strange looking. Oh yeah, yeah. Now this, this isn't the real me. This is just a body that I have made up out of a synthetic compound. It, it doesn't matter. Just when I'm down here, I'm just an ordinary looking guy. Why should I believe even one word that you say you don't look like or sound like no damn Martian? Well, it's because I know your culture well. Studied it for some time. Harry S. Truman was the 33rd president. Detroit Tigers won the 1984 World Series. Last year, Sophia was the most popular girl's name. Big Mac has 540 calories. Coke's more popular than Pepsi. Domestic house cat has 18 claws. I could keep going. Look, I wouldn't even know if you were right or not. <laughs> oh, trust me, I am. And you know what else? I even got a job down here on Earth. <laughs> yeah, pay's, pay's not too shabby. Whoa, whoo hoo hoo Are you telling me all this cause? I'm telling you this for one simple reason. We can adapt to pretty much everything on this planet. Even all this oxygen, but the food, that's a problem. We find alcohol agrees with us pretty well, but the food just makes us sick. Kinda like if you went down to Mexico and ate something off a street vendor's cart and then, it's like that. Like, for us, it's, it's way worse. Yeah. So blood is the ticket. Blood? Yeah. 
human blood to be exact. <laughs> yeah, I know. Find that funny, huh? Mm. Vampires from Mars. Mm. Does sound like a pretty horrible sci-fi flick, right? See, the thing is... Oh! Oh, oh, hey, buddy. You all right? No, oh, I'm all right. I'm not drunk or nothing. Yeah, I don't think this beer here is too strong. Yeah, just, just put your head down on the bar. Yeah, I can't feel my head. Yeah, you're weak now, and I understand why. You do? Yeah, I, I know exactly why. So this little tube I got comes out of my side through this slit in my shirt. I stuck it in you when I sat down here. It doesn't hurt. You know, it's, it's got a, a special coating on it. That's why I didn't notice. Actually, if you could see me without this human shell on, you see I'm covered in the things. Like a, like a big slimy jellyfish, you know? Only cuter. You know he's trying to call out. You know, the muscles in your throat, they won't be strong enough to make your voice work. They're paralyzed. The fluid that keeps the tube from hurting you, it also deadens the muscles and nerves in your body while allowing me to draw your blood. There's people looking over here right now. They're not thinking a thing about it. They can't see the tube from this angle. They just see me smiling. You looking like a passed out drunk. They think it's pretty funny, actually. I mean, they've seen drunks before. That's it. Just relax. Go with the flow, as you people say. There's nothing else you can do but that. There's not gonna be a drop of blood left in you in a few seconds anyway. There. I have finished. Yeah, I feel like a million bucks. I don't know if you can still hear me or not, but I'm gonna take that tube out now. There we go. Okay. Well, thanks for the nourishment. Hope you know it's nothing personal. Uh, I'm gonna take care of these beers. At least I can do. Happy trails. Watch Dust. Like this video. Subscribe for new visions of the future every week. It is the business of the future to be dangerous. Your future is dust.